Hey stampers and crafters, thank you for joining me today. So I posted a photo yesterday on my Instagram and on the Facebook group and I tried foiling on black cardstock and this is the card that I made out of that and I received a couple of questions on what printer I used, how I did the process and things like that. I decided to just post this video so you guys can see how I did the foiling on black cardstock. So if you're interested to see the process, please keep watching. So we are actually in my office right now and I have the Word document already on my computer here and that's the one that I typed up. I found the quotes on Pinterest. I have it on two columns here and the font that I use here is called Snell Round Hand and it's on size 24 and I put it on bold so it will print up nicely and I made sure that I have enough space between the two so that when I cut it using my die it's right in the middle and I have my printer going here now this is actually a Canon laser printer it's LBP 6030 and this is available at Amazon and it's pretty inexpensive it's like when I got this it was about $85 and it's pretty small it's very handy to have I have another HP printer on the other side which is the color one but this is what I use to make cards using digital images and of course uh, foiling as well. I have the Michaels Recollections cardstock here and this is probably about 60 pound cardstock and I fed it through the printer. And what we'll do here now is have it, so I'm just going to print it. I'm not sure if you can tell, but I have bad lighting in my office. So that's how it printed. So it printed really nicely. What I'll do next is to use my die. We're going to move on over here. Sorry, I'm trying not to make you guys dizzy. I already have my little laminator here, and this is just an inexpensive laminator. You can use any laminator that you you can purchase. There's one that's really good called Royal Sovereign or something that was recommended by Jennifer McGuire, but I don't have that. I have my Mink machine, but this one is already local voltage. This one is 2 220 voltage, so this is what I use for when I'm overseas. So this is the foil that I use. It's the deco foil. I purchased this from scrapbook.com. You can find this at Michael's. Hobby Lobby and uh, any other crafting supply store and I just cut this out here so now I have the cardstock here and I'm going to die cut it using this Gina Marie wonky stitch die that I purchased from Kat and going to cut this in four pieces and then I'm going to show you how I foiled them so I just die cut this piece but I have my laminator already here all you have to do is get a typing paper a regular typing paper and just fold it in half this will be your carrying sheet for your laminator I didn't use the carrying sheet from the mink machine because I'm not really sure if it's going to work for this regular laminator so all you have to do is just put your foil make sure you have enough covering your image right there and I just cut off the excess and I keep that for later and all you have to do is just put it inside your carrying piece like so and make sure that your laminator is ready and mine is I have the green light there when you put your foil it has to be the pretty side up and just run it through your laminating machine and then what I do is after I take it out of my laminating machine I just do this kind of wait for it to get cooler a little bit and then I just run my fingers like this on just on top just a couple times 
turn it around, put it back in like so, and run it through again. Just and this is what I do while it's still warm. I'm not sure if it will make a difference, but that's what I did. And just wait for it to cool off a second. This is how it looks like when you first take it out. And we'll see how this one turned out. So I just carefully use my fingers to lift it. It's good enough. It's not perfect or anything, but I got a really great result doing that stuff. It's beautiful and it worked. I didn't even need to use my mink machine for this. I just used a regular inexpensive laminating machine and I got beautiful result. So that is how I did my foiling on this black cardstock. If you don't need an expensive mink machine to do your foiling, if you have a laser printer at home, it's actually very easy to do. So. I hope you guys found this video helpful and liked this project. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you on my next crafting project. Bye for now and have a great Memorial Day weekend.